First off, congratulations to all the new athletic trainers out there. Welcome to the special group of being an athletic trainer. Um, if you've just passed your boards and are graduating within the next few weeks or have already graduated, congratulations. You should feel proud about adding the ATC initials behind your name. Certainly was something that I thoroughly enjoyed. If you're still in your programs or if you've yet to take the boards, um, good luck to you. Uh, I hope that this video can still be useful to you in some nature. This video can also be useful to all of our quote unquote seasoned athletic trainers as well who are necessarily not the best when it comes to emergency care or just looking for more tips and advice for what they should carry in their emergency care packs. Um, this is going to be my essential emergency care item, items that every athletic trainer should have on them um, pretty much all the time. I carry all of these with me. Um, I actually have multiple sets of all of these with me um, within reasonable distance of me. First one I'm going to recommend is a tourniquet. Um, I recommend the North American Rescue Gen 7 Cat Tourniquet. Uh, it's the combat application tourniquet. It's the one that I recommend. Always make sure that your tourniquet, regardless of what you get, is C-O-T-Triple-C approved. Um, that's the Committee of Casualty Combat Care. Um, they, they review tourniquets and they let you know which ones are approved for use and which ones are not. I would recommend um, having two of these instead of just having one. Um, the cost being a things, I think that... Um, these go about 30 bucks or so, so you can get two for about 60 bucks, which isn't too bad. Especially in emergency care situations, you always got to remember that two is one and one is none. Because when uh, shit happens, uh, something's going to fail. After that, I recommend that you have uh, some form of BVM. This is a Cyclone Pocket BVM. Um, it's compact. It opens up into your normal size BVM that you see um, all the time. This runs about $60. Um, other BVMs run about 30 bucks or so, um, even less than that. I recommend that we have BVMs because as healthcare professionals, we should really be getting away from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing for our rescue breaths and respiratory arrest and cardiac arrest. It's just not the appropriate thing that we should be doing. So I always recommend that we use BVMs instead. In addition to the BVMs, I recommend having some form of airway. These are your Berman OPAs, oral pharyngeal airways, and these are your nasal pharyngeal airways. Your OPAs are gonna run you about six bucks. They're pretty cheap, they're easy to use, um, easy to learn how to use. So I always recommend having that. Your NPAs will run about $30 or so, uh, maybe a little bit less, maybe closer to 20 bucks, but I always recommend carrying these as well. Um, they do expire, so you need to make sure that you know um, when they expire and you will need to replace them throughout your career, whereas the OPAs don't. Other airways that I carry is I always carry um, iGel airways. I've been trained and used and have used iGel airways uh, many a times. I strongly recommend them. They are within the scope of practice within athletic trainers. And I highly recommend that everybody carries them. Other items that we can be carrying are things like a Israeli trauma bandage dressing um, or chest seals, just things that we can use to stop the bleeding. But uh, tourniquet, BVM, and some form of airways are kind of my two or are kind of my go-to options um, and really nece necessary items that every athletic trainer should have in their kit. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you.